the weather is getting warmer and I was wearing my t-shirt and jeans the other day and you know what? It was really underwhelming. I just didn't feel very fashionable. So I decided, let's jazz up this t-shirt and add some vintage sleeves to it. So next time you're thrifting, you don't need to look for the entire garment that you might wear. Look for the sleeves because you can repurpose just the sleeves. I can't believe I've never thought about this before. Statement sleeves on a t-shirt. Hello, next time I'm at the thrift store, I'm definitely going to be looking for cool sleeves. So what do you need to do this? You need a t-shirt or a bodysuit. I'm using a bodysuit today. And you need some sleeves. And that's it. So let's make this happen. And don't worry, I did not destroy a beautiful vintage dress just for these sleeves. I had already upcycled that dress and decided it didn't need sleeves. So now I get to repurpose them. Your first step is removing the sleeves from the dress or the shirt or the blouse or whatever the heck it was that had the sleeves that you want. So I've already done that. So my sleeves are ready to go. Next, what we need to do is remove the existing sleeve on the top that you want to put the new sleeves on. So I'm just gonna chop this off because I want this to be a real easy, quick, fun project. You could also seam rip them off, but that's gonna take you a while. So let's chop them off. So I'm going to snip into the sleeve to start it, maybe, we'll see here. Come on scissors, there we go. Okay, and now when I cut, I'm just gonna cut right next to that seam. And I'm just gonna work my way around the armhole until the entire sleeve is off. There we go. That's the quick and dirty method and you're gonna wanna do that to both sleeves. Our sleeves are off. We are ready to get those fancy sleeves on this shirt. Now that we've got everything prepped, we need to get these sleeves into the t-shirt. And how the heck are we gonna do that and make sure they fit and make sure this works? Follow along and I'm gonna show you how. So now what we need to do is get this sleeve into that armhole. Now, if I line the sleeve up with the armhole, you can see I've got extra fabric in my sleeve. So what I'm gonna do, because my sleeve has already got some poof and some gather going on, I'm going to run some basting stitches and gather up the top of the sleeve. So I'm gonna end up with a little poof at the top, which I think will be really cute. But what if you don't want that? And you line it up and you've got an extra couple inches in your sleeve here. What you can do is take in your sleeve and just blend it into the seam line Make sure it's the same circumference as your armhole or maybe just a little bigger so that way you can ease it in. And you're gonna sew it back into the armhole and it's that easy. So basically you would just cut it off here and blend it into the existing seam, sew it up and then you're ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put some basting stitches in my sleeve here at the top. So let's head over to the sewing machine and make that happen. Now I'm just gonna be demoing this on one sleeve but you would do the exact same thing to the other sleeve. Now I'm gonna run two rows of basting stitches around the top of the sleeve. And this is gonna help cinch it up so that way I can put that gather in the top of the sleeve. And if you wanna learn more about basting stitches, make sure you check out my video on that. Now I have two rows of basting stitches. Now that you have two rows of basting stitches on the top of your sleeve, if you're doing the puff method, you're going to take your shirt, turn it inside out for all methods, and make sure your sleeve is turned right side out as well. And what we're gonna do is take the sleeve and put it in the shirt. Now what we wanna do is make sure we are lining up our underarm seams. And we're gonna start pinning all the way around the armhole. Now what I wanna do, since I'm gathering this a bit, is find where the top of my sleeve is and place that at the tip of my shoulder. And now you can see all this extra fabric here. We are going to gather that up into the top of the sleeve. So now I'm gonna start pinning at the bottom, working my way towards that gather. And you're gonna pin your sleeve in like this regardless if you have a gather on it or not. So now I've worked my way up to the shoulder and I'm gonna flip it to the other side. Start at the underarm and work my way up to the top. And now that we have the sleeve pinned into the armhole, it's time to sew it down. So I have my machine set up to a straight stitch and I'm going to be using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance and work my way all the way around the armhole. 
making sure I backstitch at the beginning and the end. I sewed on my other sleeve and we are looking great. I cannot wait to try this on and see what it looks like. So you can see our seam went in so nice and smooth and then I've got my little bit of poof up at the top of my shoulder, but everything is looking great. And let's take a look at it from the inside too. So you can see our sleeve set into the armhole here and it looks really nice. And it fits great too. Check it out. I love these sleeves on this bodysuit. I think it is so fun. It has definitely given this old plain bodysuit an upgrade. If you enjoyed this video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought about it down below. What kind of sleeves are you gonna add to your shirts? If you have any questions, also leave those down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. And don't forget to subscribe to Sewing Anastasia so that way you can get all kinds of awesome sewing videos and hit the notification bell so you know when they come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and all the other social media so that way we can stay connected and creative together. Also, don't forget about my sewing classes in Chicago, Illinois, my design studio. You can check those out at sewingastasia.com. And later this spring, we're launching an online sewing academy. So make sure you check that out later this spring. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.